Yo, what's good out there, man? How everybody doing, man? I hope everybody having a good, blessed day. And let me welcome y'all to my new channel, man. And on my channel, what we doing? We staying our ass out the way. Staying out the way. That's what we doing over here, man. My name is Staying, the way, staying Out The Way Trey. And that's what I'm gonna be preaching over here, man. Like, cause I really think like some dudes need to, need to hear that on a daily basis. Like, stay your ass out of the way. Because if you make the wrong move, your life can be out of there, man. Take me for example, man. I was 17 years old, made the wrong move, out there robbing people, not worrying about the consequences. And it took my goddamn life from me, man. It took me away from my people for goddamn 16 years. I was 17, I came home when I was 34. I've been home since 2017. You know what I mean? So it's been a little minute now. I'm never going back to that place, man. I just feel like I can't go back to, to those way, that way of life, living like that. Like, I can't do it, man. Like, I had enough of that shit. Like, you know what I mean? Somebody like me that did a little minute, like, I had, I had a whole... I learned my lesson. Long story short, <laughs> I'm never going back to that place, man. So when my release date got close, I told myself, man, I said, man, when I get out there, I'm staying my ass out the way. And that's what I've been telling myself since I've been home and I've been doing a good job, man. And I think it's some dudes out there that kind of need to hear this because in the back of their mind, there's a lot of dudes out there in the back of their mind probably like, man, I really want to stay out the way. Everybody knows somebody like me, man. Like, I don't really do shit. I ain't into nothing. I don't really do nothing, man. I'm married now. Like, I'm just living a different life. Like, you know what I mean? And I feel like dudes, a lot of dudes out there that's doing the wrong things, they know dudes like me. And it's like in the back of their mind, they really want to stay their ass out of the way. You got to understand, like, if you're in your 30s and you out there wilding, like, you know what I mean? When them people catch your ass, goddamn, you know what I mean? It's lights out, bro. Like, you know what I mean? Shit going to be changed by the time you get out. There's going to be a lot of things that change. But you can put a stop to that by staying your ass out of the way right now. You know what I mean? You have to stay out of the way. Like, it's not hard, but you can make it hard. Or you can make it easy. I made it easy, man. It's all about the decisions that you make. It's all about the people you put around you, your circle of people. It's all about what are you doing with your life. You know what I mean? You got to fight those demons. Because I ain't going to lie, fighting those demons is hard, man. Like, in the back of your, sometimes in your mind, I know your mind be telling you, ah, go get that money this way, go do it. I mean, I ain't knocking nobody for trying to get the money the way they get the money. Keep doing what you want to do. But at the end of the day, everything comes to an end. You know what I mean? With me... I don't go through those problems because I have no ops, I have no beef, I have no drama with nobody. You know what I mean? I'm all the way out the way. I chill in the crib, I got everything I wanted in the crib, and I stay my ass out the way, man. That's what I'm doing. Like, you can do it too. You just gotta be able to goddamn fight them damn demons that's telling you to do the wrong thing. And I know they in your mind, you know what I mean? I know it's a hard fight, man, but like at the end of the day, that's what I'm here for, man. So with that being said, like I said, my name is Staying Out The Way Trey. And that's the name of this channel, because that's what we doing over here, man. You know what I mean? We don't want to have people make mistakes like I did when I was young. You know what I mean? Not thinking. So I'm talking to the young dudes and the dudes my age. I'm 41 now. You know what I mean? So I'm talking to everybody. Women, men, everybody, man. I want my message to reach all around the damn world. You know what I mean? Of Staying Out The Way. Because that's what it's about. You can live a great life staying out the way, man. I feel like my life is great. I have no complaints. I promise you. You know what I mean? So, y'all gonna be on a little journey with me, man, through this whole jump because through the 16 years that I did, you know what I mean? I actually was at two popular spots at the time. You know what I mean? You gotta understand, when I got locked up early 2000s, so that shit was a minute ago. You know what I mean? But that uh, the spot that I was sent to when I first went to prison was Sussex 2, and that's when it first opened. So, it's like I got massive stories about that. You know what I mean? I did my second half of my bid in Lawrenceville, Virginia. Everybody know about Lawrenceville, man. For the people that's not from Virginia, Sussex and Lawrenceville is two major prison spots, you know what I mean, in Virginia. You know what I mean? I was locked up in Virginia. Pardon me for not mentioning that in the beginning, but I did my time in Virginia. Um, for the people that's from Virginia, a lot of people might know me that was in the, that was in the can with me. You know what I mean? Um, if you was at Sussex or Lawrenceville, if I was at uh, Lawrenceville, they used to call me Wheezy. At Sussex, my name was T. White. You know what I mean? Different time, like T. White went from T. Wheezy to when I got to Lawrenceville to just Wheezy. So you might know me by those names, man. But anyway, I got classic shit, man. I'm letting you know, man. Like, I'm giving you the perspective of a dude that won't really bout like the war shit. I won't trying to stab a million people. Like, that wasn't my thing. Like, I wasn't in prison. I was trying to get the hell out of there. 
One thing about her, I wasn't the smartest young nigga in the world when I first got in there, but I did know if you kill somebody in that junk, your ass is never coming home. You never come into the crib. So like at the end of the day, you gotta be smart in prison. You can be a killer and you can you can wanna stab a whole lot of shit up, you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, you gotta learn how to play chess in that joint. Real talk. That'll get you through your bed, like learn how to play a life, a game of life with chess. Like chess, like you gotta know how to move, you gotta know how to make the right moves, the right calls, the right situations. You know what I mean? Cause at the end of the day, you locked up. You know what I mean? So like you don't wanna make your shit harder than what it got to be. You know what I mean? Prison was prison. You know what I mean? They had the killers in there. They had the finesses in there. They had the drug dealers in there. You know what I mean? You had all type of people in there. I think I fall under the umbrella as the, you know what I mean? Kind of the drug dealer at the time. I mean, I had no, don't, don't, don't knock me now, y'all, but I had to do what I had to do in there. I felt like I had to take care of myself. I didn't want to rely on my family. And, and you know what I mean? Because when you went there, you're, you're taking care, you're taking charge of your life. You went there. Your family's in a whole nother city. You know what I mean? I was away from you, so like, it's, it's you. So I felt like I did what I had to do just to take care of myself. You know what I mean? I felt like I didn't want to be one of the dudes. It was either you was an up dude or down dude in there. And when you getting money in there, you an up dude. So like, that's the, the aspect of my life that I'm gonna be given of prison. You know what I mean? It's a different aspects all over. It's, everybody got different aspects about what, how they did time in prison. Those are my stories about, you know what I mean? Now I got stories about knives when people got killed. You know what I mean? But I'm bringing more of the, the, the juicy shit, like, you know what I mean? The shit that, that, that I went through with my generation of doing time. You know what I mean? Like I said, my generation is doing time, early 2000s, till I came home in 2017. That's my generation is doing time. You know what I mean? I was locked up, I was 17. When I got to Sussex, I was super duper young still, like 18, 19. I was one of the youngest there. You know what I mean? I, I, I basically grew up on that motherfucker because I left there when I was 26 and when I went to Lawrenceville. And from Lawrenceville, I did the rest of my time. But the journey was nuts. Everybody from Virginia that know about Lawrenceville, I got them stories, man. I was there from 2009 to 2016. I got them stories. Y'all know that shit was lit. And for real, for real, I ain't trying to put throw nobody under the bus that's still up there doing time, whatever. But I heard these two spots closing soon. Susses in Lawrenceville, so I feel like, you know, it's about time for me to do these stories. I've been wanting to do them. It's just, ah, I was kind of reluctant because, you know what I mean? Like, you know, coming from my generation, we ain't really camera people. We're not really people to do a lot of talking, but at the end of the day, I feel like YouTube is a, um, is a platform for a lot of guys that just came home from prison to kind of make an income, to have their own business, to kind of, you know, level up. So I'm going to give it a shot. I think a lot of people are like the content that I'm gonna be, you know what I mean, sharing with y'all. I think everybody gonna rock with what I'm saying, you know what I mean? But if I come through with the exclusive, man, I'm gonna need y'all help, man. I'm gonna need everybody to like, share, and subscribe, man. Rock with me, give me a shot. Share me out to y'all peoples. Send me out, oh, check them out, let them see. Cause you know, it's a lot of dudes up on YouTube doing what I'm doing, you know what I mean? But I'm the Virginia aspect of how Virginia used to rock. You know what I mean, at two popular spots. So for the people that's not from Virginia, like y'all give me a shot too, man. You know what I mean? I'm gonna keep y'all on the edge of y'all seat. Like I say, I got good juicy stories. You know what I mean? I was in there 16 years. You know what I mean? So I just want y'all to give me a chance, man, because I'm gonna definitely do what I need to do and deliver the good content to y'all, man. You know what I mean? But you're gonna have to like, share, and subscribe. It ain't gonna take nothing to just hit your hand. Boop. If you like what I'm saying, boop. Hit the like button. Give me a shot. Hit the like button. See how easy it was? Boom. That's all I ask. Now, my shit trash, you don't, you, don't, you don't have to do anything. You know what I mean? You don't have to do anything. I respect that. But at the end of the day, I feel like I'm going to give y'all classic stuff. You know what I mean? Um, staying out the way, Trey. That's always going to be my message before a story. Because I definitely want dudes to stay out the way. And I'm going to always deliver that content for y'all, man. So we're going to get into some great juicy stories. I just wanted to just put this out here to let people know who I am. You know what I mean? As like an intro of what I'm about to start doing. You know what I mean? Um, I'm going to kind of start in Sussex because Sussex was the beginning of my time. So there's it's a million stories through that. You know what I mean? So I'm going to give y'all the whole aspect of how I saw Sussex and how I was at Sussex, where I was at, and the pause I was at, and the shit I saw and witnessed. You know what I mean? I'm going to give y'all that. I'm going to give it to you exclusive 100%.
You know what I mean? Then I'm gonna get to Lawrenceville. Lawrenceville gonna get even crazier. You know what I mean? Then I'm just gonna start mixing shit and this is gonna be story, story, story. You know what I mean? But through the stories, what we doing, y'all? We staying our ass out the way. Cause that's what we gotta do, man. Just stay out here, man. Dudes that got kids, dudes that got families, dudes that just don't wanna go back to jail. Stay out the way, man. The boring life, if that's what you wanna call it, because you ain't in the club all the time, because you ain't in the spotlight all the time, because you ain't doing this, you ain't doing that. Bro, people like me, I feel like I can't keep up with that stuff. I feel like I, my, the time that I probably would have been doing that stuff that I see on social media would have been the time if I would have never got locked up. I'm 41 now, you know what I mean? It's time to move like a man, and moving like a man is longevity, and I'm trying to be out here for the rest of my life, and I'm trying to die old. So like, I'm gonna stay out of the way, and I want everybody to do the same, man. Don't forget, like, share, and subscribe to the kid, man, because I'm going to need y'all, man. But we about to get into these juicy stories. Sussex 2, motherfucking Waverly, Virginia. That's where it's located at, man. From the beginning, before anybody even was there from Virginia. I was one of the first. They still had the D.C. Lord and inmates there. Let's go.